Okay, none of these folks on this show has ever been trained on plus ones and how it works. <laughs> Not at all. Trust me. <laughs> And I'm like, come on through, cook, yeah. Come on up on my soapbox, that's basically it. Let's talk about drag and all its forms. What, cook, Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. This is my review for Love and Hip Hop New York. This is season nine, episode 11. Like I said, nobody here knows about plus ones and how it actually goes. They just are habitual plus one line steppers. <laughs> anyway, first things first is Juju, Sin, and Cambella actually meet up at an actual furrier and a leather shop. There was some nice shit in there. Oh, I was like, oh my gosh. Anyway, but um, Juju actually invites the girls to come with her on a trip to Costa Rica. She actually has some business she's going down for. She invites them to come for a girls trip. And in the midst of that, Cambella tells them about how her and Jewels is going to speed up the wedding date. So they can get it done before he actually goes away. And um, she would like the two of them to be her bridesmaids. And they are just ecstatic. Um, she also uh, let them know that Yandy and Maggie are actually going on the trip too. Cambella's like, sends like, well, girl, how do you feel about that? And she's like, oh, girl, I'm over it. I'm so happy with my life. I don't care nothing about what Yandy's doing or none of that. I don't give a shit about any of that. I'm happy. I'm in a good spot. I'm over it. Sim then tells them how she's doing really well since the therapy session. Her and Joe are really, really getting along and the therapy really is helping. So I'm really happy about that. That's good. So that's that. Moving on. We got Sin and Joe. We see them in the car. They're actually on their way to the baby shower. I said, what is this new thing with these co-ed baby showers? Baby shower, even be child, I'm a big old, big old sissy hattie. And, and, you know, I live for the girls and I'm always with the girls and I'm always at things that you don't see guys at, hattie. I've been to brides, bridal showers and I've been to baby showers and kids parties. You know, I get drugged with the girls. That's just the way I do. But baby, listen, baby showers are boring. They are boring. I just can't even imagine. And the co-ed baby shower, I'm like, I can't imagine men enjoying baby showers. It's just, it's boring. But anyway, moving on. So, Sin and Joe, they're talking about it. Um, and Sin ends up inviting Joe to come to Costa Rica. I said, uh, hello. No such thing as a plus one of your man at a girl's trip. That don't work. Somebody can tell you about, that's plus one, one, oh, one, honey. Girls trips is no boys. Honey, it, 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 no, no testosterone on a girls trip. It's other than the testosterone that you run into when y'all get where y'all going. Girl, you got it all backwards. Anyway, but it was go, they were going to, they're in the car on their way to um, Remy's baby shower. And it was all 1950s themed. And it was really nice. Though. It was a really nice, like everything was really pretty and really cute. And even though baby showers are boring, they looked like they had a good time. It was a really pretty shower. Um, but it looked more, instead of like a baby shower, it looked more like just a theme party in general. She just happened to be pregnant. Anyway, while they were actually there, Yandy <clears throat> talks to Juju. And she talks Juju in Latin Safari. Come to Costa Rica to entertain Joe. Says, I say, here we go again. Jumping the line of the plus one. And then we find out that Safari and uh, Juju ain't even cool no more. I said, well, what happened? You know, I was rooting for them to be a couple. I was like, child, they are going to be cute as a couple. They ain't even getting along. 
Juju's like, nah, he ain't being a good friend to me. He ain't what I thought he was. So she ain't using Safari. But she's like, okay, fine. He's going to entertain Joe. So Joe ain't up in our neck and in our face. That's fine. I said, girl, this is turning into an old co-ed trip, but okay. That was that. Next, we see Alexis and Maggie having a sit down. And Alexis, guys, telling Maggie how the whole group she's working with, that Treyway, the whole team was in jail. And she just doesn't really know. She cried a little bit. And she's like, I don't even know where I'm at with this stuff now. I'm like, basically starting all up. I'm just kind of on my own. I had this contract and everything, but everybody in jail. I said, oh, wow, that's really messed up. And Maggie's telling her, you know, I did some work with a guy and he got killed like the very next day. So they kind of in the same boat a little bit. So um, that was a whole mess. And then they actually talked about the little thing with, you know, how the little meeting went with her and Mano and how that was. And she was trying to figure out was Mano like mad at her. And she's like, oh, no, girl, we knew you didn't have nothing to do with that. That had to do with us. You know, so she's like, okay, good. So she's like, but everything's going to be okay. Don't worry about it. Mano's going to get you on track and everything's going to be okay, girl. Don't cry about it. I was like, all right, that's cool. So moving on. Papoose was filming a video for his song, Golden Child. He's trying to get everything done, all his loose ends tied up before the baby gets here. Um, and it looked like a real nice video shoot. They, um, He had all his friends, his closest friends, and their kids and their women be in the video. So there was Mano and Pap and Remy. Um, you had Maggie. You had Jewels and Kimbella. They were all there. I said, this is nice. Um, you had Joe and Sen and all their kids. Um, then that's when it came up that people have been saying <clears throat> that um, Jewel's only proposed to Cambella because he was going to jail. And that's what they were, Joe was telling them, those are haters. Those are haters and don't even worry about that. Don't even listen to that mess. Haters are always, I say it all the time, haters are always at work. They're always on time and they never take days off. Never. The haters got a job to do. Let them do it. And that's that. So, um, then they turn around and they invite, Joe invites Mano to go to Costa Rica. I said, so we got a whole co-ed trip now. It's not a girl's trip anymore. It's a whole co-ed trip. Everybody going to be there. All their men's going to be there except for Jewels who can't leave New York because of legal situations. And, Mendeecees, because he can't leave the pen because of the legal situation. <laughs> but everybody else has been going to be there and Safari. I said, Lord have mercy. A mess. We actually found out as well that Safari turned down the million dollar sex toy deal. Dumbest shit I have ever seen in my life. So at this point, everybody in America has seen your junk all for free. All for free, Safari. It's the dumbest shit I have ever seen in my life. We all seen it for free. And it was nice. And it was nice. It wasn't even, because see, I always say, if you're going to get on the internet and you're going to show your naked ass, please be have a body. Have a beautiful body and know what you're doing with your camera angles. If you're going to do it, baby, do it. And Safari, you got on there decided to show, and that's the best one. Don't get, like, we got the ones that have jumped on here, baby, and they was giving you all of this. So far, you got on and gave everybody what they needed, baby. You brought the whole set, the bat and the ball, okay? You did everything we asked, but you did it for free. Why? Dumbest shit in America. I've never seen anything that dumb in my life, but whatever. So far, keep on trying to make a couple singles and, and do, you know, I think you're talented. Child, boy, you should have sold that dick mold anyway. Anyway, child, listen, moving on, because that, that shit's just dumb. I can't even sit in that. That's just that's just the dumbest shit I ever heard. Moving on. So um, we have this meeting with Alexis and her friend, Ike, which I didn't understand Ike's purpose in being there. Other than he's her pocket gay, and I guess she wanted to have him some camera time. He's cute. Cute little pocket gay. He's cute. Um, but I didn't understand his point. 
of being there. And then Solo Lucci. And this was the dumbest shit. This is next to Safari. This is the dumbest shit I've ever seen. Solo Lucci wants to be the baby's daddy. He he he's claiming that's my baby. Where we got Fetty, who's saying the baby ain't his, okay? And wants a blood test and all of this. And it's all of this back and forth. And Alexis is like, you're not the baby's dad. And I wish you would stop saying it. And I'm like, so you got one guy who wants to be the baby's dad and another guy who you claim is the baby's dad and you're so upset because you really want him, I believe. I believe that Alexis wants Fetty and she can't have him. And um, they go through all of this and Solo Lucci says, fan, I'll take the test. I'll take the test. And then she says, after the test, I want a public apology. For what? For what? You want him to apologize for saying, yeah, the baby's mine. Is this the, the backwards? This is the most backwards shit I've ever heard of. He's like, I ain't making no public apology. I fucked you. I have been fucking you. I don't know when I stopped fucking you. Girl, but I, I was fucking your ass. And it is what it is. But I'll take the test. If the baby ain't mine, I'll go on about my business. But I ain't getting up publicly making no apology for saying that I... You want me to apologize for saying that I would take care of my responsibility. Girl, you the dumbest bitch in town. I said, I wonder what your grandmother think about that. Because, you know, your grandmother got good sense. And your grandmother gives out good advice. I bet your grandmother don't know what you be doing with Lucci. Because I know if your grandmother heard you, she'd probably smack the shit out of you because you sound stupid. Anyway, I was just so confused. I was like, poor Solo Lucci. Solo Lucci seemed to be, you just a little hot in your ass, but you seem to be a pretty good dude with your little self. I said, go on, Solo Lucci. Child, one of y'all better go snatch Solo Lucci if you can slow him down. He'd be all right. Slow him down and clean him up. And you could, you know, he's fun. He cool. You know? He probably make a good date for somebody if you can slow him down. He little high. He got a hot dick now. But other than that, he seemed to be all right. Alexis, you just stupid. You want Fatty. Can't have him. He don't want you. Goofball. Anyway, moving on. I can't wait to see the results of this test. Moving on. Um, and the bad part is now I feel bad for the baby because she's a cute little thing. The best thing could ever happen to the baby is that Solo Lucci would be her daddy. I don't even believe that, Alexis, I don't think that you deserve for Solo Lucci to be your baby's daddy. You deserve for Fetty, for you to have to be strapped with Fetty and his nothing-ass bullshit for the next 18 years, because you stupid. Moving on. I'm getting done. I'm leaving. I'm moving from that, because that's some stupid shit. If she's my daughter, I'd take the shit out of her. Moving on. Remy and Joe are down there and they have this little, they're talking and everything seems to be going real well with their podcast show. Um, everything's taking off and it's doing real well. And then we actually see Joe and his son, Trey. Trey is 17. And um, Joe wants to have this little conversation with him. And oh, it was so funny because Remy was surprised. I think that Joe knew who she was. Like, really, Remy? <laughs> of course he knows who you are, silly. But, um, he sits down with Trey, and Trey basically tells him, he's trying to ask Trey, basically, how do you feel about me and Sin, and if we were to get married? And Trey told, was completely on board with it, and was like, I definitely been seeing this coming. I know that you and Sin, I figured at some point you were going to marry Sin, and definitely I would prefer for you to be with Sin rather than anybody else. And that's what he was saying that him and Sin do seem to have a really good relationship. And Trey seems like a real sweet kid. I said, that's all right, Joe. That's all right. And I guess there was some, the, it, their relationship must have been a little tumultuous in the beginning, but he was saying how it was actually um, clearing up. And y'all know, I think Joe is fine, fine, fine. And I looked at that tray. I said, honey, that tray going to be something, honey, when he finished growing up. He's a cute little boy. I was like, child going to be another Joe. But he's probably going to actually end up being better looking than Joe when he gets all the way done being, you know, growing up. I was like, but he seems to be a really nice kid. Good job, Joe. Anyway, or whoever did it, because Joe seemed like something was messed up at the beginning. Whoever was raising him was doing a good job, child. Moving on. All right, so then Yandy has a talk with Jules. And 
it's this whole little thing. Jewel's like, why can't you and Cambella get this shit together and squash it? Um, Jewel's, you need to watch this tape and you need to really be checking Cambella. Cambella's the one doing all that. She's being the real, she's out there. I don't know what's going on with Kim. But I, I you know, Yandy, Yandy don't be having a clean hand and shit, but Kim Bella is doing the absolute most, really, truly. Anyway, moving on. You know, they go ahead and they fly to Costa Rica, and here it is. It's when they're in the airport, they're coming out of the airport, just getting to the, well, I think they're just re reaching the resort. And that's when Yandy sees Kim. Yandy had no idea that Kim Bella was coming. And I was like, Yandy, pull it together, because ain't nobody doing nothing. Ain't nobody doing much now. Now stop. Just leave it alone. Um, first thing happens, Maggie and Yandy have a sit down and, um, oh, we, we've seen this whole scene with Sin and Joe and it was like, okay, beautiful room, beautiful room. And I was like, okay, they're going to be, they're going to do it. Joe finally want to give her a little taste. That's nice. Okay. Try and make her all of that. That's cute. That's what they doing. What they supposed to be doing finally. Thank God. Moving on. Um, Maggie sits down with Yandy and she's basically telling Yandy, shit that Kim Bella's been doing and saying and all the stuff about infinity and all of this. Baby, when I tell you that goddamn Yandy got mad as shit, I said. And I, I can't even say nothing. Yeah, I'm team Yandy with this one. I ain't, you know, we could do any type of fighting and arguing that we want to do. Don't you fucking bring up neither one of the trays. I don't play them games. I really don't. I've given up a lot of friendships with family members, you know, aunts. I've given up shit with people. There's people that I don't fuck with about my kids. Don't say no shit about my kids. Don't say nothing to me out of the line or out of order about me, my parenting, or my kids, or you're going to catch it. You're going to catch it, and you're going to catch it however I give it, and trust me. It ain't going to be good. It is not going to be good. And I will cut ties with you. And I might cut your goddamn head off. But um, this is exactly where Yandy was. So I'm I'm all on board with Yandy. Yandy was pissed off. She wasn't trying to hear none of that bullshit. She said, don't play with me. Don't play with me. When it comes to my kids, don't do this shit. And Juju's like, well, wait a minute, Yandy. Where she said, uh, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear nothing about her. I don't want to hear nothing about fixing it. I don't want to hear nothing about making up. I don't want to hear nothing. I'm getting me a flight. I'm getting the fuck up out of here. I was like, sound fair to me. Sound fair to me. Y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments. But for right now, we're Yandy. I got to be Team Yandy right there because the shit Kim Bella been doing is out of order. And she that, that whole thing, just the infinity piece. Is enough for me never to speak to you again. Like seriously. That's that's a serious accusation. You're only taking a foster child only for the money. That's some fucked up shit to say about, about somebody. It really is. And it wasn't about the money, but she said about the fame and, and about the look. That's that's a nasty accusation for a friend to actually make. And really ain't because she she says it, but she really has it proven it or really based it on anything we haven't caught yandy in that we really haven't so until you can actually put some proof behind it that's some fucked up shit to say like seriously it really really is that's a hell of an accusation to make child anyway i'm done y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments and i'll catch up with y'all next week later